Hello Year 3, this is Miss Callaghan with your Literacy Lesson on Wednesday the 13th of January. We hope that you're all okay and working super hard on your remote learning at home. To start with we've got some sentences and I want you to add an adjective where there is a missing word. Remember that an adjective is a word which describes a noun. For example, you could describe an object as shiny. Or beautiful could be an adjective to describe a person. Pause the video here and write your sentences in your literacy book. I chose to write the glittering ice melting in the blazing sun. Your teachers can't wait to see what you've written when you bring your packs back next week. When you've completed this, move on to the next activity. Next, we're going to be playing a game. So you're going to pick out a picture of a noun off the slide in a second, and you're going to describe the noun to someone in your family, and they've got to guess what you're describing. However, you can't use the noun and you can't use actions to help your pictures to choose from which you've got to describe to your families so you can choose snow hot chocolate ice a blanket here fire or a coat and for example i could choose to describe snow to my family so i could say to my sister it is something that is white and freezing cold and it falls out of the sky during winter time and settles on the ground, making the floor really slippery. And your family's got to try and guess which noun you are describing. If they can't guess, keep giving them clues, but remember that you can't tell them what the noun is and you can't use actions. I would like you to try doing three nouns to your families. And then when you're ready to move on, press play and carry on with the rest of the lesson. So far this week we've learned about lots of different word classes and we've selected some different types of words. So we know what a noun is, we've got some winter nouns, we can use adjectives to describe them and you have used some verbs to describe the actions. Today we're going to be thinking about adverbs that we could use in our writing. So what is an adverb? An adverb is a word that describes a verb. For example, how it moves, where it is, when it happens, how often and how much. It adds some more information to the verb. An example of an adverb could be Miss Callahan ran quickly. Miss Callahan would be the noun, the verb is ran, and the adverb would be quickly, telling you that I was running really fast. Now we're going to play another game. I'm going to choose an adverb and you must act it out. Are you ready? So the first one is march confidently. So on the spot, march like a soldier confidently. Have you got your chin up tall? Are you swinging your arms with purpose? These things would all help us look confident when we march. Next, I want you to wave cheerfully. Wave at the computer cheerfully. You could do that with a big smile on your face because you're enjoying your learning. Our next action is to dance gracefully. In your house, I want you to do your best dance moves gracefully which should be in an elegant way like a ballerina and finally i would like you to sing loudly any song you like but make sure it's nice and loud now most of the, those adverbs ended in ly but not all adverbs have to they can describe where it is happening for example down down the road, everywhere or inside. 
it can be describing when it's happening again or before never or now and it can also be describing how it happens so the ly words often describe how it moves so you were moving gracefully dancing gracefully but it could also describe how much a little very or how often for example always daily hourly never or sometimes so i brush my teeth daily here is a list of lots of different adverbs separated into groups so we've got how adverbs when how often where or how much so for example you could say it snowed yesterday or the boy behaved naughty occasionally next we're going to look through the poem that mrs duckworth has written for us and try and highlight the adverbs today we identified that the red words were all nouns so we've got sun ice cream sun cream barbecue and sea and we'd also highlighted that these words were all adjectives to add description to the nouns for example the blistering blazing sun so which words are the verbs and which are the adverbs remember that an adverb adds more information to the verb so in the top line beaming is the verb and down is the information it's telling us that the sun is beaming down onto the earth so we can see that the green words are all our verbs therefore the adverbs are quickly another ly adverb all over the sun cream was protecting all over our bodies slowly and gently to give more information about how the sea was swishing so for today's main task we're going to look back at our winter nouns and using the verbs that we've already got i would like you to think of some adverbs to write on the pictures and we're going to watch the videos of our verbs again just to remind ourselves so you can try and think of some adverbs to add some more information to how it is happening here we've got our snow falling our fire crackling flickering or smoking and finally the ice melting or dripping so you need to think of some adverbs to go with the pictures and videos to add more information to how the verb is happening so the fire was crackling loudly the ice dripped slowly the snow flurried everywhere remember a descriptive poem needs to give the reader a feeling so that they can imagine what you are writing and i would like you to choose five adverbs that you have thought of and add it to your planning sheet for us to include in our poems there's time for you to do this task now i hope that you choose lots of really effective adverbs ready for when we start to plan our poem tomorrow in the final literacy lesson of the week remember to come back and watch the video again tomorrow well done goodbye